Right guys, today I'm going to make a quick video on this dash cam that I've just bought, Vehicle Black Box DVO. It's a dash cam that actually fits into the mirror. It's one of those cheapos from eBay. Cost me about £30. So I'm going to make a, a very quick unboxing to show you what you get. I'm going to do a review of it and in the next video I'm going to show you how to fit it. 1080p apparently, wide angle, 170 degrees, supposedly night vision, supports up to 32 gig memory card, comes with a 16 gig memory card, or this particular seller on eBay was selling it with 16 gig memory card. Get a forward facing camera, and it also has a reversing camera as well. It records front and rear while you're driving, which is quite good, so if someone rearranges as well and drives off, we shall see. I've had a quick look inside to make sure everything was there. And when uh, I did open it, it also came with a USB cable so you could connect it to your computer. That was missing, I'm not in the box. But I emailed the seller and they uh, refunded me a couple of quid to buy another one, so that's even better. So it cost me just a little bit under £30 and for all that, I think that's quite a good bargain. So let's take a look, quick look what you get inside it then. Get rid of that. First one you got, and there's this mirror. First thing you see, it's, a, it's got quite a bit of a blue tint to it. I don't know that, what that'd be like once it's in the car. I'd have preferred silver, but we shall see. Got your straps. You hook your straps onto there to hook it to the mirror. So onto the mirror. Here's your camera, your forward-facing camera. Put that one side. Get the cable to plug it into your cigarette lighter to power it. And your straps to hook it onto your mirror. They just hook around there and then go on, hook around there, then go onto your mirror, like so. And uh, your rear camera. Your camera, quite a long cable. You can also wire it into your reverse light as well. So when it's wired into your reverse light, it switches on the rear rear camera when you're reversing. So I'm going to find uh, a USB cable. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Hook it up to power it. It's got an internal battery. I'm not sure if there's any power left in it. It says it lasts up to half hour, it lasts about 10 minutes to be honest, internal battery is pretty rubbish. Let's see if there's any power left. Yeah, it makes that buzzing noise every time it turns on. Quite annoying, I'd like to get rid of that but... You can see it started recording already. It records automatically when you turn it on, as though you were driving. Because it's on battery, it might even power itself off in a minute. So uh, I'll just plug it in. Bear with me. Be back in a sec. Right, I found, found myself a USB cable. Plug in the right way. Ask you if you want to connect my storage to transfer the files, PC camera. Can't actually get that doing anything. Or record mode. Record mode as though it's in the car. It's now powered up. Okay, what you're seeing now is the actual recording. From the mirror. Okay, 
Okay, I'll just plug the rear camera in as well. See a quick look of the rear camera. Plug the rear. Let's make sure it's the right one, yep. So now the rear camera's recording as well. I'll just plugged it straight in. As you can see, it's recording itself. So now you're looking from the rear camera. I think the rear camera is 720, it's not 1080, it's better than nothing. Again, rear camera. And as I say, it records the front and rear while you're driving the whole time. It detects impact if you have an impact, or it's got a G sensor on it, which you can set. And it will lock that file so it won't erase itself because as the memory card gets full it, re it records over the oldest files so it's permanent recording but the G sensor makes sure it doesn't record over those if you, as in if you have an accident or someone knocks into you they're the ones you want to want to store I'm going to quick look at the options now if I can remember how you work this well, the first thing I'll do, just turn that off. Again, what I could have done is pull the power, and that would replicate the car turning off, and it switched itself off. But the memory card stored on the top there. It's the memory card that came with it. The memory card is, if I can focus. Again, I can't find if you can turn that noise off anywhere because I don't like that, but what can you do? Have a look at the settings. It's got resolution. Let's leave it at 1080p, why would you want it lower? Photo quality, set that at 3 million. So I click record, that means how, how long each file is, so it records in three minute chunks and then makes a new file and makes a new file and makes a new file until it's full. Date stamp, that means it, it puts your date on the video that you're recording, it's quite useful. If you have an accident on so and so date, it's, it's log what date it was in. Language English, LCD brightness, I'm not quite sure what that is, maybe it dims at night, I don't know. I'll try and answer these after it's fit to car and I've used it a while. Auto power off, again not quite sure what that was. you got the option to turn the screen off after a few seconds, uh, that's this. To turn the screen off after a few seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or permanently leave it on. I'd rather turn it off after a few seconds, you just know it's working then turn it off. Just so you've got your full mirror for looking we'll go behind you. This is for voice recording if you want to record the voice in the car. Again, if you start singing your heart out that more to her, like I sometimes do, you might want to turn that off. Beep sound, got to turn that off straight away, that's so annoying. Yeah, first thing I'm going to turn that off. Parking guy, that gives you just like some little grids on your reverse camera screen. Again, you need it hooked up to your reverse light. Gravity sensing, that's your G sensor if you have an accident. Or a bump, how sensitive you want it. I'm not sure which is best yet. I think if you have it really sensitive, it might start locking out videos. Every single pothole or bump you go over. Boot mode, don't know what that is. White balance, leave auto, exposure, leave auto, frequency, left on 50, motion detection. Now, I'm not sure though. How that works because it's always recording and when it's turned off, when your engine's turned off, it's not. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. WDR, no idea what that is. If anyone can tell me what that is, I'd greatly appreciate it. I've clicked it, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Make sure you set your date and time. Format your SD card. Already done that, let's click it format. Now when I were trying to find reviews on this, a lot of people were saying they've got theirs stuck in Chinese and they couldn't set it back. Where is it? So look for the A there. If I go back down to it 
tells you version what using on. But if I go to default settings, it resets everything back to factory. And I think this is what a lot of people have got. So restore defaults, okay. Yeah, a lot of people said they've got their stuff like this, and although it records, they, they can't figure out how to get it back. But it's not that difficult. Now to change the language to English, you want to go down to the little A, click OK, and there you go, English. And the second thing I will do, is get rid of that annoying beep sound. And of course, because I've reset it, I'll have to reset my date and time. Again. Figure out how to do it. And it's that one, 2016. It's the 11th month. Yeah, it's the month. And it's the 30th. And then it'll set a, a date stamp in all your recordings. It's the 30th. I'll set the time later, you don't need to talk about it, it's exactly the same. But that's a, a quick look. Seems alright up to now, for 30 quid you can't really complain if it records your incidents or accidents, it's going to help you. But uh, I'm going to fit it in the next video and show you how to fit it, add all the wiring, get my impressions once it's fitted, how it's using. So check that video out, I hope this little video just gives you an idea what it's like if you're thinking of buying one of these cheapos off eBay, it seems to be working so far. No complaints so far, it's cheap and cheerful, but it does the job. I'll peel that off when I get it. Again, I'm not kidding, it being more of a blue tint, but it's the only complaint so far. And the fact that I can't turn the annoying beep off. I'll unplug the USB that will simulate, simulate as though I'm turning the car off. So if I pull the USB from the computer, And then it turns off. And now it's not recording. Plug it back in. Again, turn the car back on. Turns on. Yeah, that sound's going to get annoying after a bit. Again, you wouldn't get this option. It just goes straight to record mode, then you'd be recording. Oh, you know, you've actually got the option as well. That's the reverse camera in the top corner. You can turn that off. Or you can have the small camera as the front facing camera, and the big camera as reverse, or just reverse, or just forward. Or just off and in the settings as well you can make it so it turns off again I've set this is all set to default since the so that's set at 1 million why not have it at better quality three minutes is fine English recording voice now recording my voice beep sound off parking guide I'll put that on. G sensor, you need to set that on. If it's at default, make sure it's on because you definitely want them saving. Boot video. Again, I'm not sure what that is. WDR. Okay. And there we go, this little button there, looks like a flower, change switch camera. Oh and it also allows you to play. You save videos that are on your SD card so you can watch them in the car. I believe as well, I can't remember which button it is. There's your camera, if you take a camera. They're showing a preview. Now I'm playing. Get the option to delete.
also there was one button, I can't find where it is now why it's recording if you have an incident I think it's this flower button it's not actually recording at the moment not sure why maybe it's because it's on the USB and not the in the car but it's okay now it's recording I think it was this but it, obviously when it's in the car it records on itself I think it's caused by the USB but you know if you check that I think if you something happens you can make sure it saved that file is it this button yeah and it's put that lock now and it will save this file so it won't overwrite this file as the memory card gets full anyway that's a quick ish look, it's quite a long look but yeah next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to put it in the car, set up in the car give me impression of the car, use it, show you some in car footage, show you how to fit it blah de blah de blah check the next video out fit in Hope it helps if you want to see. If you're thinking of buying one of these, cheap and cheerful, worth the money. So far for 30 quid, yeah, it's worth 30 quid. Not worth 100 quid, you know what I mean? If you'd have paid a lot for it, there was other ones I was looking at. There was one I think was like 107. And it did basically the same. It's like, wowzers. For another mirrored one, it's like, no. I'd have just bought one of the dash mount ones. Anyway, time to fit it. Time to go out in the cold. See you later guys.